I'm here with Sarah Jessica Parker at Milk Studio shooting our fall cover for the launch of her brand new fragrance, Coven. Yes. So I'm so excited. So let's talk about this. It's your second fragrance right yes. after the huge success of Lovely. You know, we dreamed really big mm -hmm. and it sort of speaks to the idea of the fragrance, which is just, you know, you go after what you want, you know, you know, damn all conventions and, and consequences. Um, and it's that that, you know, covet what it means biblically and what it, you know, what we're sort of making fun of the idea about it. But I think the it. best part about you is you take something that you say this desperation of wanting something, but you make it so charming <laughs> and so, <laughs> so, so, you make it so, so lovely in a way that you really oh, want it nice. so bad. Wouldn't it be great to um, stay sort of classic in some mm -hmm. way, but just be really aggressive, not just with the, with the smell, the juice, as we industry insiders call it, to have a little more aggression in it. I mean, the actual campaign itself actually has a real narrative mm -hmm. to it this time versus Lovely, which is these sort of tableaus that yes. you and Trey created. And a little background. I mean, we were in yes. Paris. We shut down Place Vendôme. Yeah. We shot from midnight to six in the morning. Yeah. We had the whole place under a rain machine. We had <laughs> cars, fake policemen, a couture dress dragging in the mud. Oh. You become such a pop culture icon. I mean, let's, let's yeah. go all the way back to the beginning of everything <laughs> you've ever done from Annie Square Peg. But also, no, but seriously, like, like Sex and the City's made you pop culture vernacular, for sure. And then like The Gap and, you know, Lovely, and Coven, all this stuff. I mean, you really are the fabric of this American culture in so many ways. Teeny thread, perhaps, at most. No, I, I, think, I think a lot more than you think. But I think, you know, you really influence a lot of what girls think in terms of fashion and style. And I think, nice. you know, in a really great, positive way. So, you know, That's moving nice. into Coven, you're now launching your own line of clothing called Bitten. Yes. Which you are so actively involved in thought a lot about Dolly Parton once said that when she first got real money in her life and she has as you know a very large family she said to them I will always take care of you you will always have what you need you may not always have what you want but you always will have what you need and I thought that's where we should start you know the want will be part of the line but to give women from 11 to 70 or 100 everything they need and make it affordable. I mean, everything I'm wearing, well, not the Sweet shirt. peak on Bitten right now. <laughs> is Bitten, and we've you know, worked so hard to make it good because we have to be who we say we are, and it's been an amazing experience, really. Yeah. And I think my favorite part about the collection from the beginning was that you always said, number one, you weren't just gonna stick your name on a label and let it be that. You were gonna be actively involved, and you can really see the design sensibility be you. But for a lot of people in this country, they have to start with the basics. Of course. And so, um, it's really exciting to be part of, and I just hope we're doing it right. Sex in the City, the movie. <laughs> There's been a lot reported about it. Yeah. Are we doing it? Are we not doing it? Or do we have to look forward to that? Those who might care. I think I'm, I feel very hopeful. I feel like it actually has a better chance of happening now than it had originally been planned to, and so I feel very hopeful.